a wonderful and sunny good morning from New York City. I'm now in Brooklyn, here is my hotel located and if you're looking for some cheaper hotels, Brooklyn is the best place for you. In Manhattan you have to pay so much for rooms. If you travel with two, three or four people, it's okay, you can share the room rates. But if you travel alone, I think it's better if you're looking somewhere else. Yeah, the next four days I want to explore New York and I hope you come with me. I know there are so many travel vlogs about New York. I think everybody who make vlogs was in New York already, but now here are my favorites and I hope you enjoy the video. Today I want to look around in Lower Manhattan. That means I want to go to the Staten Island Ferry. I want to go to Ellis Island and Lady Liberty. I want to go to the 9-11 Memorial, to the One World Observ Observatory to the Wall Street and much more. So now you see how you can come to New York from John F. Kennedy Airport and then let's start this New York journey. If you arrive here at John F. Kennedy International Airport, then I think the cheapest way inside the city is with the metro. Inside the whole airport you can use the air train for free. The air train goes to Jamaica Station and Howard Beach Station. And if you want to change that to the metro, you have to pay $8 to exit the station and another $2.75 for the metro ride. So together nearly $11 even for two or three people it's much cheaper than a taxi ride and all you need is this little metro card so let's go inside the city and more about the metro here in New York City I will tell you later This is the Wall Street, looks not so busy early in the morning, right? But here is all the money, not mine obviously, and it was so much cheaper to travel in the United States a few years ago. During my best times I got nearly $1.20 for 1 euro and now you get 1 euro, 1 dollar. That's so sad for me, but it is like it is and here I am on the Wall Street. You find a lot of interesting buildings. One of it is the Federal Hall. That's the building where the first US Congress took place even before Washington DC was built. And right behind me you see the New York Stock Exchange. That's the place where hundred millions of dollars are traded every day. Oh wow, it's only 10 a.m. in the morning and look how many people are waiting for pictures with the charging bull. The charging bull is the symbol of the financial district and the Wall Street and it's located here next to the Bowling Green, a little park. And don't ask me why, I think the most famous picture here is from behind when people touching his balls.
one thing I definitely want to try here in New York is one of these typical New York hot dogs or for me a sauerkraut dog. Yep, really not bad. Now it's time to take a quick look on Lady Liberty. Right behind me you see the Staten Island Ferry Terminal. This ferry connects Manhattan with Staten Island and it goes every 30 minutes on peak times every 15 minutes. During the ride it's about 20 minutes. You have a wonderful view over the skyline of Manhattan and you can take a quick look on Liberty Island. It's a good opportunity for everyone who want to save the money because this ride is completely free and it's not really a secret anymore, the ferries are really crowded and full of people. But if you want to save the money, this is the right thing for you. But I will look at Liberty Island later also. arrived at Staten Island. If you arrive here you have to leave the ferry but then you have two options. You can go inside the terminal again and take the ferry back to Manhattan or you can spend some time here at Staten Island like I do it now. I found a nice restaurant here at the ferry station with a beautiful view over the skyline and now I will enjoy my lunch here. I got or I ordered a seafood combo, seafood platter don't ask me why every time when I'm on holiday I like to eat seafood. I really don't know why. Also I get a cold beer so let's give it a try. Yeah, I think it's a great idea to wait here. After the awesome Staten Island ferry ride, I normally wanted to visit the 9-11 Tribute Museum. The entrance was there right behind me, but since two weeks it's closed because of some financial problems. Bad for me. Yeah, there is now only the 9-11 Memorial Museum open for visitors and I have to change my plans now, so 
I think I go now to Liberty Island. Oh yeah, look at this shaking boat. Only these boats or ferries bring you to Ellis Island and Liberty Island. There it is, right behind me. And only here at the Battery Park you get the original tickets. So let's go on board and explore Liberty Island. Unfortunately, the Statue of Liberty is a little bit under construction at the moment, so maybe it gets louder now. But this is the most popular attraction of New York City. The Statue of Liberty, or Lady Liberty, was a gift from the French Republic to the United States in 1886 to the 100th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence. All in all, the statue is 46 meters high and it is part of the UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1984. The ticket here to Liberty Island costs you $25. I think that's totally worth the money. Ellis Island is today the National Museum of Immigration and the entrance is included in your Statue of Liberty ticket. These buildings right behind me were opened in 1892 and every ship from Europe came here to New York City. Ellis Island was the busiest immigration inspection. Nearly 12 million immigrants entered the United States here till it was closed in 1954. I'm now at the 9-11 memorial. Here on this place, on September 11, 2001, two hijacked planes hit the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center 
The buildings collapsed and now you find here only two big fountains. One is right in front of the One World Trade Center and the other one is there behind me. I mean that's unbelievable crazy. 22 years ago we're here the highest buildings of New York and now you see just two big holes with a fountain inside. I think everybody remember this day. I was only eight years old and I still know everything what happened this day. This, that's really crazy. Around these fountains you find the names of all 2,753 people who killed during this attack. Also you find here the 9-11 museum. It's located between both fountains and this is the museum I want to visit now. If you see a victim's name with a white rose on it, that means it's their birthday. Right behind me you see the survivor tree. That's the only tree who survived 9-11 and he is still alive. Look at this unbelievable huge building. The One World Trade Center is my last stop for today. It was opened in 2014 and it is 1776 feet high. That's the year of the American independence and that's also 541 meters. There is an elevator that brings you up into the 102nd floor in 47 seconds and I would say let's go up. Welcome to One World Observatory.
visiting One World Observatory. And that was my first day in New York. I hope you liked it. I really enjoyed my time here. New York is one of my favorite cities and I mean just the views from the One World Observatory are so amazing. It's by far better than from the Burj Khalifa. Yeah, the Burj Khalifa is higher but the skyline of Manhattan is so beautiful. You can't complain it, that's all. So I think this video is long enough already so tomorrow I make a new video, new day, new video, new adventures. If you like my video you can subscribe my channel there come a lot more and now I go to my hotel catch some sleep so that's it for now see you tomorrow and good night